again everyone welcome back to my channel so today I have my final haul for 2014 it's a mix of CVS big lots and mostly Dollar Tree so let's get right into it oh wait before I start if any of you watching this are from the st. Louis Missouri area or the Metro East area into Illinois and would like to meet up with me on Monday January 5th then let me know in the comment section where you are because I want to try to meet up with some people I know this is super last minute but I didn't think I would have time and I think I'll have a little bit of time to meet up for like coffee or tea or just to chat so yeah if you're in st. Louis Missouri or in the Metro East area then let me know in the comment section and we can try to meet up because I think that'd be super fun so yeah got that out of the way so now on to my haul I will start with CVS first so at CVS I picked up two of the Revo lip balms this one is in coconut cream and this one I've already used that's what it looks like and this one is in cookie dough the blue ones in cookie dough so these were 99 cents and they're on sale I don't know how long the sale is going on but you might check your CVS to see if they're still on sale they also had a ton of things on clearance a lot of things I didn't need or didn't want and they were kind of picked through but I did pick up this Burt's Bees hand sanitizer uh, with aloe and witch hazel this was on sale for one dollar and twenty cents and so I think this is good for traveling this is also good to spot clean makeup brushes. I really like the Burt's Bees brand and I've never tried this so honestly that's kind of why I picked it up just to, to give it a try. Then I picked up two Lara bars. This one's in coconut cream pie and this one is in chocolate coconut chew. So I like these to travel. I'm traveling tomorrow back to Missouri and so I'm going to take those with me. Let's see, uh, move on to Big Lots because that's my second least amount. Let's see here. First thing I picked up was this Boom Chicka Pop Popcorn. It's kind of a funny name. And this is in the Kettle Corn. This is a GMO, vegan, uh, healthy version of popcorn. And yeah, this has two cups in it. So I thought this was nice too. I've already, actually I bought two. And I already got into this one. So I can tell you this is really delicious. I've seen this at Whole Foods for like $4 a bag. So I decided to pick it up because it was only 50 cents each. So I might get some more of those because we go to the movies a lot. But movie popcorn is filled with I don't even know what. So I like to take my own healthy snacks and that would be good to take. Also, I got some more of these. These are supposed to be for toddlers, but they're for anyone. I mean, if they're safe for toddlers, then they're safe for adults. These are the fruit and veggie melts. These have vegetables and fruits, and they're like in little melts. And I haven't tried this tropical blend, but I'm going to give them a try. These are great for traveling, and I like the yogi ones. They're uh, better, but I was going to give these a try because they were just $1.00. Also, if you have kids, these would be great, ideal for kids, but you know, or if you're me, you can buy them for yourself. <laughs> then, I picked up this, it's a thermal top by Cuddle Duds, and I've seen these on sale for like $20 each, and this is on sale for $5. Let me see if I can open it up here. But it's like a, it's a thermal top, and it's in a white and leopard print. I thought this is super cute. When in Missouri right now, it's like 20 degrees. Here, it's like 60 degrees outside. It's like 55. So I thought this would be good just to uh, throw under something or to wear alone. So yeah, got that. So it's going to look like that, but just with the leopard print. And then I picked up a pack of bobby pins. I just needed some more bobby pins. These are just like in the kind of brunette version, but they were $1. Almost everything in my haul was is $1. Then, oh, at Big Lots 2, I actually got these a little while ago, and I forgot to include them in a haul, so I'll haul them now. But this is a body wash by Scent Bar. It's in the Forbidden Scent, which is ruby, pomegranate, and blackberry, and amber. So you get, let's see, 12 fluid ounces, and it was $1.50. This kind of smells like the Bath and Body Works um, kind of Moonlit Path, I think it's that one. It smells really good, kind of romantic smelling. Then I got the lotion in Blush, which is peony. It is sugar peony with cassis and pink champagne. This was $1.50 also, and it's the lotion. So I've used the lotion a couple times, and I've used this a couple times. They are really nice scents. And uh, I think Scent Bar went out of business, so that's why they're at Big Lots, because I looked it up online. Then we'll move on to Dollar Tree. So the first thing that I got at Dollar Tree actually has water in it. It is this uh, water bottle here. It's like purple striped. It holds 30 fluid ounces. I've been using this the last couple days and I am in love with this. Let me take the top off. You do have to be kind of careful because the top opening is 
really open. It doesn't have like a spout, but it's super lightweight is what I really love. So I'm going to take this on my trip. It's so lightweight that you could put it in a carry-on or something. It's not going to weigh you down. So I'm really happy with that. Then got this bag here. I picked up the I Heart Oats. These are just oatmeal. I like this brand. I like I Heart Oats. We don't eat a ton of oatmeal, so this is a good amount to get so that when we do eat it, it's just not taking up a lot of room in our kitchen or anything. Put that there. Then I got this pill case with cutter in purple. Um, you guys know my migraines, but I'm trying to cut my migraine, emergency migraine medication in half to use less. So I got this to, let me see if it will open. So yeah, this is what the inside looks like. You can put vitamins in here or aspirin or your emergency migraine medication if you're like me. And yeah, it has a pill cutter so I can cut my vitamins in half. I can cut that emergency migraine medication in half because it makes me really sleepy. So if I take it, I try just to take half of it and see if it will work. So I got that. Then I got some more of the Sassy and Chic. These are the stick-on nails. And they have a like kind of French, kind of a white little lace pattern on them. I love the houndstooth one. They work really well. So I'm going to give these a try. So I got those. I picked up some more of the Sassy and Chic nail art. These are the rhinestones. I like to use the little containers for traveling and then the rhinestones, I'm gonna bling out some things, I think. So, or I might try to do them on my nails. I'm just not great at doing my own nail art. Then I picked up some of these labels. They're kind of like vintage-y looking labels. Oh, another food item I picked up were sunflower seeds, but I put them in this bag because when I opened it, the bag kind of broke. But yeah, they're just plain sunflower seeds. I like to munch on those. Then I am totally late to the party on this one, but I finally found the rhinestone sheets here. So I picked up three packs of those because I might try to bling out some of my Revos. I might try to bling out some things, but my stores, I saw them and I don't know, I didn't get them. And so now I'm going to try to bling out some things with these. Then I picked up this wall tap. It's where you can plug it into the wall and then plug in three different devices into it. We definitely need one of these uh, in our house, so I picked up one of those. I picked up the little labels off it, but this is like a tiny screwdriver kit. I picked this up to repair a watch, a polar watch that I got. I posted a picture on my Instagram, but I needed to open up the back, so I got uh, this little set. And we also need little tiny screwdrivers like that to fix uh, sunglasses and things. To go along with that, I got a two-pack of the Sunbeam lithium batteries. These are the CR2032, and one of these I put in my polar watch. Uh, so it came two for a dollar, and one I put in my polar watch, it worked perfectly, so I didn't need to go to Walmart or somewhere else and pick up a more expensive one, so these work well. Um, a health thing, I picked up some more Ginkgo Biloba. I kind of stopped taking this for a while and it was actually helping my memory, I felt. So I decided to pick it up again and to start taking it again. Then I picked up two candlestick holders. And I'm going to use these with the next thing I'll show you. Sorry, they make so much noise. I'm going to try to make a nail polish rack you know, try to do a little Pinteresting. So I picked up those uh, candlestick holders, one of these, one of these, and then the long one, like this. And so I'm gonna try to do it where you glue the candlestick holder to here and then you layer them so that I can put all of my nail polishes and some of my beauty products uh, out on display so I'll use them more because some of them are in like Rubbermaid containers and so if I don't see it, then I don't use it and I have a lot of pretty colors and stuff I should be using. So I'm gonna try to do that. I can do a DIY for you. I think it's, it's pretty easy. I think there's a lot of DIYs for this similar <laughs> project on YouTube already, but I don't know, if I do something different, like if I paint it a different color or do something different than the ones that are already out there, then I'll film a DIY for you. And then, I think this is gonna be the last thing, is I got a set of these cooling racks. They come like this. And I'm going to try to use these to organize my lipsticks because if you can see, the area between these two wires, I actually tested it in the store with one of my lipsticks. It actually perfectly, I have a lip gloss, it actually perfectly fits a lipstick. So I'm going to try to 
put this in some sort of box or tray so that I can put my lipsticks in between these little slots. So again, if I can master it and figure out how to do it nicely, then I'll do a, I'll film a DIY for you. Um, oh, one last thing is I picked up one of these mercury glass uh, candle holders. I think these are beautiful. I've seen the same thing at Pier 1 for like 5 or $8. So I might put my makeup brushes or other lip glosses, but this is just beautiful. So I had to get one of those. Um, that is everything that I got in my haul. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this last haul of 2014. And like I said, if you're going to be in St. Louis area, Metro East area on Monday, January 5th, then let me know in the comment section and we can try to get up and have a cup of coffee or something. I'd love to meet you. I'd love to meet everyone if that would be possible, but I know we all live in different parts of the world. But I hope you're having a great holiday season. I hope your new year starts off really great. And I will see you in my next video and see you in 2015. Bye, guys.